This is a Track It Hub video tutorial on the new Round Robin and Flex Ladder software. First of all, we're going to go up to Organize Play and go to Round Robins and Flex Ladders, Create and Schedule. The first thing you must do is select the group that's going to be associated with this Round Robin or Flex Ladder. Next, select your event that you previously created and your members have registered for. That will bring in the name of the event, the date, the start time, and the end time. The number of players that registered for your event now will show up here in red. And as I scroll down here, you can see that every single player that registered for my event now has a check mark next to their name. The first thing I do is select how many courts I have available. And now I can select the format that I would like to play this in. If I am doing a round robin, I can do a 23 person, 10 and 13, 5, 5, 5 and 8. Or if I'm running a ladder, I can do it two different ways. I can do 4, 4, 5, 5, and 5, or I can do the opposite. If I have a larger number of players, in this case 65, that have registered for my event, I can use what we call the custom selection. And now you can see that I can customize my round robin exactly how I want. So in this case, I selected with 65 players that I want four groups with 10 players in each group. I want three groups with five players in each group, and I want one group with just 10. So when you have larger numbers like this, this is a great option for your club. This custom selection table will calculate everything for you, and once it says perfect with the total number of players that registered for this event, press apply, and now it has been set up for you. We also have the option to place the players on the courts by skill level or randomly. A lot of times clubs will run round robins where they're just fun informal events. In that case, they can select randomly. Otherwise, if you want this to be a competitive round robin or a competitive ladder or league, I select skill level. Next, if you would like to include the scores in the handicap average, keep it on yes. Otherwise, if this is just a fun informal event, I can select no and the scores will not be kept perpetually. Next, we select the maximum points per game and how much you wanna win by. In this case, on the five player groups, we're going to keep it 11 win by one. And on the four player groups, we'll go to 15 win by one. The reason why we go win by one, that way there'll be no overtimes. And if you are on a time crunch, then the games will get over sooner. The reason why we play to 15 on the four player groups is because they will be playing two less games than the five player groups, as you can see here. As it states right here, if I would like to run two rounds, all I must do is come in here and double the number. Clicking on the player rotation button will show me each and every game who will be playing who, and I can also rotate the chart, and if I wish, I can print it as well. If a player does not show up to the courts and they registered yes, they were, they were going to be a part of the event, I can come down here and uncheck their name, and now that individual is taken out of my group of players, and now I can select a new format of play with those players. So as you can see, the nice thing about our program is you no longer have to have substitutes. All you have to do is uncheck an individual's name and it reshuffles the players for you accordingly without that individual in that group. Before we create and schedule the courts, I can come over here to group layout preview. And this is gonna show me exactly where the players will be placed on the courts before I actually create it. Now, if you believe a player should be on, on a higher or lower court, you can manipulate it however you wish. So I can come down here and click on this arrow next to Barb's name and drag and drop her wherever I feel that she best fits. Before I create and schedule, I always want to save the setup. Now my setup is already saved, so I'm going to come over and create and schedule. And now it's going to place the players on the courts according to their skill grouping first and then their percentage within that skill grouping. Now that the courts are created, I can come over here and email the schedule to players, type in any text that I would like, and press send. If I would only like to send this schedule to myself, select email alternate only, and type in my email. And it also gives me the choice if I would like to include scores and handicap average once again. An upgraded feature that we added to the Round Robin and Flex Ladder software is now you can make changes on the courts. So if I want to change the date, the start time, the court that they're played on, and what they're playing to and winning by, I can do so on the courts themselves. This was not an option on the initial shootout software. Also, it's going to show me my player rotation if I click that box. So now on the courts themselves, I'm able to see every single game 
and who is playing which player. It is very simple to type in the scores. Just click in the first box, type in your score, and press the tab key. Now, as I go through, you can see on the right-hand side that the scores are automatically being updated for me. Another new feature that we've added is if someone drops out of your event midway through or gets hurt, now you can click whatever game was your last game and now it will gray out the remaining games left. So it will only be calculating the first two games now instead of three, and the calculations will still be accurate. If you would like to save time by just typing in the total scores instead of each individual score, you can do so by clicking on total and then just typing in the scores here. On the five player courts, each person has a buy for each game. To see this, go to player rotation, and you'll see in the first game that the buy is the fifth player. Now is after the first four scores are filled out. In the fifth spot, I'll put an X and press the tab key. An X represents a buy for that player for that game. Now, if I go back to player rotation, it's gonna show me that the buy is gonna be for the fourth player for the second game. Before these scores are even inputted, I can actually come in here and type an X. If a player withdraws or gets hurt in a five player court, you can turn that five player court into a four player court by just putting X's all the way across. After all my scores are filled out, I go up to organize play, go down to round robin and flex ladders, and go to handicaps and results. It's gonna show me a table of all my players that are in this group, and now I can scroll down and I can click on their percentage to see every single round robin or flex ladder that they've played in. Thank you for watching the tutorial on round robins and flex ladders. If you have any questions, please email me at Travis Cruz, K-R-U-S-E, at trackitup.com.